Thank you, Emma, Emma Jane. Are you going to put up my presentation or shall I have a go? Yep, I'm just doing it right this second. Brilliant. Thank you. Um, hello, everyone. Um, uh, some great heartening talks um, we've experienced over the last couple of days on open source approaches, accessibility, well-being, um, feminism, to, to name, name a few. Um, maybe to help out our, um, to Emma Jane, if you've got any questions, maybe prefix them with a Q in the chat. Um, makes it easier to, to um, spot them. Anyway, um, uh, so I'm Tim Franson, a technical tutor in web publishing and design at London South Bank University, involved in teaching and research activities focused on software, hardware and systems um, associated with um, web and print-based design and production. In this session, I'll touch upon some of the initial thinking behind establishing an online social learning space, highlight the assemblage of mainly open source communication tools employed, quickly run through some examples of how I use the space to um, deliver sessions on web and graphic design to a range of undergraduate and postgraduate students, as well as examples of, um, sort of variants of the platform which enabled cancelled educational events um, and research activities to take place online. Um, I've also set up a demo for you to have a, an explore as well as there'll be an opportunity to have a personalized version to use over the, the next academic year. Um, and if we have time, we'll do a sort of collective, a sort of collective um, mapping exercise using the demo to list the, the teaching tools and platforms we've used um, since since lockdown. Um, so in the weeks preceding lockdown, in the well, in the week preceding lockdown, in response to the shift from mainly in-person instruction to exclusively distant learning. Um, I rapidly established a low cost, almost no cost, um, license free online um, social learning space to maintain um, formal uh, and informal uh, student centered collaborative learning. Um, so, so what is a social learning space? Um, so, so following Ray Oldenburg's idea of third places, um, in the excellent book, uh, The Great Good Place, um, from the late late 80s, um, one general definition for social learning spaces might be a virtual area that is not predominantly identified with either home or study perspectives, but transcends both and facilitates um, formal and informal student-centered collaborative learning, an open space that combines opportunities for social activities as well as as learning enabled by technology the initial aim um, was to facilitate connectedness and provide continuity for my students in a time of isolation and uncertainty by bringing together several communication technologies into one coherent online platform attempting to to approximate our, our previous synchronous bricks and mortar interactions and experiences, as well as encourage um, asynchronous and cross-course cross learning opportunities. So kind of what I did was just create one classroom and invited um, my students from varying courses to, to, to join me for uh, periods of synchronous teaching. And then I would let the room be open um, and the students from different courses could use it as they uh, felt fit. Um, additionally, I was aiming to provide an alternative to the tech giants and commercial platforms such as Blackboard um, that have colonized the university's um, communications infrastructure, which has been further entrenched um, during the COVID-19 crisis. Um, as a preliminary introduction to this, this issue and what is at stake, I'd recommend watching um, Rectangles R Us, a brilliant presentation in which Dr. Seda um, Gussis highlights the main issues that have emerged in the current 
sort of turn to didactics at a distance. Um, I'll, I'll provide a YouTube link um, at the end later. Um, notably, the social learning space was developed on an autonomous um, server um, on a green web hosting service, which I manage for learning and teaching purposes and requires um, only intermediate um, digital skills to set up. A, a short course um, idea, I think, for the, the future on how to how to actually do this. Um, the main open source uh, communication technologies um, uh, initially used were Jitsi Meet, Etherpad, Mural, and WordPress, which um, enabled video conferencing as well as textual and visual collaborations. Jitsi Meet, if you don't know, is a, an open source video conferencing solution, including um, a screen sharing, recording, streaming, hand raising, and um, integrated chat features. Etherpad is an open source uh, collaborative text tool allowing people to simultaneously edit and text um, a, a text document in, in real time. There was also a chat box in the side sidebar to allow sort of meta um, communication. Um, Mural is a flexible and free for students and lecturers, um, has been for since uh, it was a startup in 2012, um, digital workspace uh, um, for for visual collaboration, brainstorming, co-design, co problem solving, um, storytelling, etc. And WordPress is an open source uh, web uh, publishing platform used to integrate the above tools into one um, coherent location. Um, so here's, here's a, a screenshot of a, an early iteration of the social learning space used to host uh, an online learning and teaching exchange at London South Bank um, University. Um, this this example um, is built like they all are on WordPress um, with two separate tabs to access Jitsi Meet. Um, so here are some of some of my colleagues on the um, left hand side, and uh, on the right hand side, a, a mural uh, sort of access to a um, mural digital workspace. Um, what you might notice, the devil's in the detail. One side says that these are two, were two different sites. One was um, on the left was a so was the the sort of demo, and on the on the right um, was one for a, a colleague. So I I created personalised versions for several colleagues to trial in their respective um, teaching contexts. Um, so here's here's a, another ex example. So along with um, Jitsi Me and Mural, I introduced Etherpad as a third tool uh, and following user sort of feedback and um, stacked the tools accordingly. So I'm going to just use the there's a chunky, chunky hand here. So we've got um, Jitsi Meet here, we've got Etherpad here, and we've got um, Mural here. And uh, on the um, right hand side, um, just the uh, a, a screenshot of the um, sharing the screen to to the, the, the students. Um, so uh, Jitsi Meet was used for screen sharing to show software features and processes for students to share their and students shared their screens for advice from myself and all the group. Everyone um, has the same privileges and house rules decided collectively, i.e. mics off when not speaking, video off um, or quality set to low definition for environmental reasons, i.e. more data, more um, carbon pollution. Um, I'll, I'll share an infographic on that um, late at the end also. Um, everyone um, can stop and start recordings. So um, the Etherpad on this example um, was used just for the register and um, for sharing hyper hyperlinks and mural for students to share their work and enable a subsequent um, crit. So an another example, um, so the, the, the layout um, similar, uh, and this was with um, creative uh, writing students who were in third year producing an online literary magazine called the, the South 
bank review what we see here is the this is the um uh, the home page and um this and what we've we've got again Jitsi meet for video audio and conversations um etherpad used for sharing links creating a, a, a website sitemap um and working out um the spine which um ended up being one class one mission one enemy the graduates of 2020 versus um covid19 um mural for for the students uh, was used to design sort of layouts in a, a rough way which were co collectively and was then um, produced using html and css on the the main side so this is the uh the, the the workings out and this is the um end end result with all the the, the students stacked up here okay so let's just move on um so this is uh the uh center for the study of networked image conversations platform so uh another iteration or um uh, for this particular research center based in the school of arts and creative industries at south bank it brings together um, researchers from um, cultural studies contemporary arts and media practice and computing who seek knowledge and understanding of how network cultures transform the production of and circulation of um, images the research centre had three events planned for May, June and July. So a version was built following the, the visual style of um, CSNI's main main site. Um, so the um, participant feedback throughout has been an integ integral to shaping the user interface and experience, for example. Um, so what we've got here. Um, two buttons which enable um, you to open up the etherpad which is also here and the the mural um, uh, if you want to so what what was um, identified um, some some users had dual screens so um, this allows them to arrange the setup however they may like as and then also for other users the stacking solution was the the most suitable um, so and also embedded was a, a feedback um, survey at the end of each each event, similar to um, how Blackboard um, it has it at the end of these these events um, for this this particular conference. So the questions were straightforward. Um, please rate your experience using the um, conversations platform today, ranging from very poor to excellent. And and please ex sort of explain why you selected the above rating and share any other information about your experience today. Um, so just move on. So, so some of the the results um, of the feedback. Um, so here we 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 that particular um this this hop back one this particular tool is something called um crowd signal and um it's a sister company to wordpress and um we we have a, a simple results here the um user experience was never poor or very poor which was um heartening to know um and we even had one excellent also feedback via um, just conversations in um, uh, in the uh, Jitsi Meet chat. So um, and this these two um, provide sort of two extremes. One was thanks Tim. It was a great uh, assemb a great assemblage of, of tools. Um, whereas at a conference, this was uh, 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 using Zoom. Um, all the different tools makes me feel very anxious. Um, so and that was from a, a colleague um at uh, a learning and teaching conference that we had in arts and creative industries um so it was to be sort of mind uh my reassuring to people who don't you you don't have to use everything on offer and we can work out what um best suits and provide support it could be simply jitsi meet might be um perfect for the for the the 
the job. I'm also mindful that the project was born from my own um, needs and so teaching needs and the platform folds directly back into my teaching practice, i.e. a student might want to know how to integrate video conferencing in a web pr project. Tables, com discussions about open source and proprietary software, green hosting, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I'll also uh, be um, applying Charlotte Webb's from her talk, feminist design tool to uh, the development mix uh, as, as, as well, um, which is a great takeaway for me from this, this conference. Um, so um, here's, here's a, a fourth example. So I'm a board, board member uh, and web uh, designer for the International Journal of Motorcycle Studies. IJMS uh, for short, an online scholarly publication dedicated to the study and discussion of motorcycle culture in all its forms, from the experience of riding and racing to um, the history of the machine, um, the, the riders and uh, design to the images of motorcycling and motorcyclists in film advertising and literature. A decision to cancel the annual conference um, was made and uh, in May we we announced a um, call for memories as part of a celebration of um, 15 years of the um, journal and uh, 20 years of the of motorcycle studies. So here I'm using um, mural um, for um, uh, the timeline wall, and um, here here is a like a little video that explains to a visitor how to to um, use the mural tool to add some content a couple of minutes long and also um, a, a more conventional uh, submission form for submitting um, files or, or uh, memories and on the right hand side um, so the the time wall became a, a catalyst for conversations um, at an online, we called it a cocktail party at um, um, at the newly created IGMS CAF, which was held on the 26th of um, Ju July. So Jitsi Meet is used here. Um, we had eth an etherpad here for typing stuff up, and we introduced some breakout rooms if we were um, had lots of lots of people. Um, and so. Just um, here's a, a, a screenshot and detail of the um, call for memories uh, timeline um, wall taken about a month ago and is is still open and um, and growing. And let's hop along one more. Some additional tools I'll just sort of flag up, which I'm sort of um, introducing um, to the the, the space. Um, one is called Excel Draw, which um, sort of emerged in 20, early 2020, is an uh, uh, open source collaborative whiteboard tool that lets you easily sketch, um, sort of co sketch um, diagrams with a hand um, drawn feel. Uh, this one was flagged by uh, one of my students, and it's a rather nice um, uh, drawing tool. Um, Padlet, um, which I've seen used during the conference, is a versatile, another versatile. Um, digital pin board supporting almost every um, file types. Uh, the free version allows you to make three Padlets before you need to upgrade to a monthly or yearly um, subscription. And uh, your, your world of text is an open source, um, infinite grid of text editable um, by any visitor. The changes made by other people appear on screen in real time. Um, so hopefully we've got time to have a little go of that in a moment. Um, this was highlighted at a, a day of discussion and hands-on thinking on the politics of in infrastructure and tools at um, uh, the Digital Aesthetic Research Centre at Aarhus University in Denmark on just on Monday gone. Um, and it's it's quite a great tool. I'm doing a similar presentation to this actually, funny enough, at the um, uh, British. Uh, University in Egypt next week about teaching creative writing online. So I think I'll be introducing this tool for a session on collaborative concrete poetry. Um, so that sort of idea of um, the arrangement of text um, and uh, typographical effects uh, conveying meaning as well as well as the um, uh, words. 
Um, so final example. Uh, so uh, another another platform um, developed for crowds, a, a research project um, exploring networked and social distanced um, crowds as a rapid um, rapidly evolving new public condition. Um, the the visual style evocative of the crowd um, crowds movement using a as this this at the top here. Um, in the mast masthead of the site, using a, a particles yeah, JavaScript library, um, an embedded Padlet um, uses a repository for resources on the on the homepage and um, principal in investigator um, Simon and and myself having a having a chat um, and a laugh, I think probably about um, de developing the the platform. So that's Jitsi Meter. Uh, uh, Again, okay. Um, so, um, just gonna uh, um, if if um, I'll pop in the chat a link to um, access this this particular because I believe you can't click on to um, click on to uh, the hyperlinks. I'm right in thinking that. Um, so I'm going to pop that in and the, and the password. Um, so um, hold your horses a second. Um, the what you'll what you'll see when you um, when you type in the password, um, which is SLS2020 to make it easy. Um, um, you'll you'll see a, a demo for the alt um, summer summit. Um, we're not going to be using um, the Jitsi Meet or the um, Etherpad or or the um, uh, Scala Draw or the the two pin boards. We're just going to go for the middle one. Um, and so if people could could log in um, uh, and um, click on um, this um, you your world of text. I'm going to do the same. Uh, and I'm going to share my share my screen, my entire screen. And so you you should be experiencing something something um, like this. And going to click on right the second writing one. And with any luck. It's taken a few moments. My my internet connection is a little bit um, rubbish, but I'm seeing some some people um, landing here. So if you could list um, some of the key communication tools and platforms you've used for learning and teaching since lockdown, and we we can do that for um, maybe just a, a minute minute or so, and um, and then I'll wrap wrap things things up. Um, if the moderator could tell me roughly how much time I've got before um we've got around five minutes five minutes okay so we'll we'll do this for um just a minute and um And I'm just going to stop sharing my screen, so I'll leave you to that and just bring up my um, slides again. And so this was a similar um, exercise we did on Monday at the um, uh, Digital Aesthetics Research Center on the um, uh, slide show at the moment. So if everyone um, pops back to, to Blackboard um, and I'll just um, flag up a, a couple more, more, more things. Um, what you'll 
what you'll also see at the the space I've popped a, a link to Dr. Uh, Seda Kuss's pr presentation on rectangles of rest what what happened when the university went online so you can have a look at that at your leisure and also there's a contact form so um, please uh, submit your contact details if you're interested in having a, a personalized version and joining this um, on ongoing um, uh, ex exploration and uh, if I I think we've got about 30 30 people here I could probably um, it takes me about tw maybe 20 minutes um, half an hour to to recycle one of these um, spaces so it's quite a manual process uh, it can it will be hopefully automated using more automated using um, WordPress multi-site in due due course um, so if there's more than if I get more than um, uh, um, 10, I'll have to um, pop names in a hat, um, I'm afraid. Uh, otherwise, I, I I'll, um, um, won't be able to manage it all um, at the current state. Um, and uh, that's that's about it. So any um, uh, questions, really? And hopefully I can come up with some answers. Yeah, I think Anne um, raised um, a point. Anne, would you like your microphone? Uh enabled if so please raise your hand if not I will read it out for you okay so yep uh, if my colleague Martin could just activate the microphone for me that would be great hi yes um, I think that there's some hello Anna really... hi <laughs> okay um yes I think there's some really brilliant tools there um, but I find that the biggest um, problem for some of the tools is um, the institutional processes um, and policies around being able to actually introduce any of the new tools. And um, particularly with the COVID crisis, the um, people who, who are responsible for the um, implementation of the, of the policies and approving the new tools they're already flat out with trying to get the ones that they have now covered. And so um, introducing new ones, even if they might in the long term um, be more innovative, is, is very difficult. Sure. Um, uh, yeah, I, I absolutely appreciate appreciate that. Um, and don't really have um, uh, any answers. Um, I, I think. Uh, regarding this particular tool so i'm part of that um institute um so i'm not part of that process um uh, part of our team was asked um to help the institute um find its feet um part of my teaching practice is is to look at experimental so solutions um uh, i'm i'm steeped in privacy policies um um, cookie declarations, all the the legal stuff um, that's required for web web development as well. So I I I come with particular um, skills, which um, um, and and a, a, a very focused at what is happening on the coal face and speaking with tutors on what is needed, rather than it coming down from policymakers. If you see what I mean, so I I sort of push it push it up as much as I can so I don't know if that answers the question but it's uh, 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 it's those it kind of cultures that we we have to d develop within the um, institutions that's really really um, valuable um, insight and I think uh, it's the difference between how the inst different institutions are, are able to respond or have the staff that are um, have enough training to respond and yeah. if there's enough staff in those roles. Sure. Okay, so I can, sorry, sorry to interrupt him. Oh, no, go for it. Um, I was going to say, um, so I think, um, I think Scott posted in the chat that your institution are very fortunate to have you. Um, <laughs> and with um, less than a minute to go, um, yep. I would say 
uh, if it's okay with you, we'd be okay to wrap up the session. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for um, listening and uh, um, enjoy the next the next um, session. And I hope I get some um, sort of volunteers who might find it useful, even if it's to to show um, policymakers and and uh, um, uh, senior management.